In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about a messenger more than any of the other messengers that he sends. This messenger is Musa alayhi salam. And there's a reason why he is mentioned so many times inside of the Quran. You know, one of the righteous people before said, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just revealed the Quran, just being the stories of Musa, it would be enough as a reminder for you and I to look at the struggles that he went through to the point where our messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reunite all of us with the messenger and Musa and all of those chosen people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where when he used to go through problems, when he used to struggle when he was in Mecca, he would say, may Allah have mercy on my brother Musa. He suffered more than this and he remained patient and I am going to remain patient. Can you imagine our Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam using Musa as the example of patience? What beautiful patience did he have for him to earn this title or for him to earn this honor of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying he was someone that was so patient and he was tested so many times. My brothers and sisters, if we wanted to look at the life of Musa Alaihi Salam and say this is the moment that he earned this title, we are never going to agree on a place. What we have to understand that throughout the entire Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing us how Musa alayhi salam earned this title, how patient he was with the people. Whenever I think about the life of Musa alayhi salam, I think about the companions radiallahu anhum ajma'een and how they were with the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam. One of the things that they did not like to do to the Messenger, especially when they were in Medina, was ask him questions. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells us in the Quran, أَتُرِيدُونَ أَن تَسْأَلُوا رَسُولَكُمْ كَمَا سُئِلَ مُوسَى مِنْ قَبْلِ That do you want to continuously ask your messenger? Like you, the people used to ask Musa alayhi salam. You know, one of the first stories that you are introduced to inside of the Quran, it is showing you this example of Bani Israel exaggerating and making it difficult on the situation that Musa alayhi salam is in. Continuously asking him useless information, asking him for things that only make his situation difficult and the situation of the people difficult. In Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us the story of the cow. Can you imagine you being a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Your people being saved from what they were in, from the great calamity that Fir'aun was placing on top of them, seeing all of the miracles that he performed, seeing all of the hardships that you are in now being removed to ease. And in this moment of ease, your prophet comes to you. Musa alayhi salam comes to you, not as he's just coming, but after you ask them to help you, after you ask them to, can you prove to us who killed this child or who killed this man? And then the response being, okay, I will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling him, this is the steps that you have to take. And then this messenger coming to you and telling you, hey, this is what we have to do. We have to go and slaughter a cow. And after the cow is slaughtered, we are going to be told, who is the person that killed this man? But then instead of accepting this and saying, Khalas, let's grab a cow and slaughter it. What did they do? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that they began questioning him. Can you tell us what color of this animal? Can you tell us what is it? Is it a cow that goes through the land? Is it a cow that looks like this? What does it look? All of these questions every single time just making it difficult on Musa alayhi salam and continuously asking him and making it more difficult and difficult. And throughout all of this, what is he doing? He's remaining patient and he understands that through this difficulty that I am going through, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to make my situation easy. Even before this, if you look at the way that they are treating him, the way that they are dealing with Musa alayhi salam, it is a situation where he has nothing except the patience. And why is he patient? Because he knows the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that through this difficulty that he is in, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring ease. And what ease is there? Greater than the ease that was brought to Musa alayhi salam to where he is from amongst the greatest of messengers that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent to the people to be from the most mentioned prophet in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Musa alayhi salam was not sent to us, but the way that we read about him, we fulfill the command of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he tells the when he first meets them in Medina, he says to them, نَحْنُ أَحَقُّ بِمُوسَى مِنْكُمْ That we have more of a right to Musa. We read more about his life. We follow the Sharia that was sent to him. We are a people that are in line with what Musa was sent with. And because of this, we have a right to him. 
Now when we look at the story of Musa, it is not just one. Throughout the entire Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling his story. Many, many different incidents that he is in. And throughout all of it, he remains patient because he understands that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to bring with this ease or with this difficult because he understands that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the difficulties that he has brought, ease is, go is going to come right then and there. One of the greatest moments that you actually realize is coming true for Musa alayhi salam. It is what happens after Fir'aun eventually agrees that I am going to let Bani Israel go. That after he is overwhelmed with the miracles that are sent from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with the different punishments that are coming, he says, you know what? Bani Israel can leave. You guys can get out of here as long as these punishments stop. What ends up happening when they actually leave? He comes after them. He begins to chase them. And then he goes and he reaches them when they are at the river. Behind them is the army, in front of them is the sea, and they don't know where they are going to go. They don't know where they are going to turn to, to the point where the people that were with Musa, what do they say right away? They say, Inna la mudrakun. We are going to drown, they are going to overcome us. Either we go in front of us and we are going to drown in the sea, or we are going to let the armies of Fir'aun capture us, and they are going to do to us what they want to do to us. What does Musa alayhi salam say? He says, Kalla, that will never happen. Why is it not going to happen? You and I, if we were in that situation, what are we going to be thinking about? Are we going to rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like Musa did and understand even though this seems impossible, even though it seems like there's no way out of this, and we find ourselves in these situations many times, especially when we look at the conditions that our brothers and sisters find themselves in all over the world. We think, what, from where is victory going to come for this ummah? Where is the ease going to come from it? We have to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised to us that inna ma'al usri yusra, with every single difficulty, ease is right there with it. It comes not after it, not before it, right with the hardship, this ease is coming. And once we understand that, we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to facilitate things for us. Even if it seems impossible through our eyes, just like at the time of Musa, they see the sea in front of them and they see the army behind them. We don't know what we are going to do, how we are going to be saved. But he says, no, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with me and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to be the one that guides us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to save us. So what does he do? He takes his stick and he hits the ground and then the sea opens for them to be able to cross. Can you imagine this type of Iman, that difficult that they were in? This difficult situation did not just begin in that moment, but it was there before. And even throughout all of this, he continued to rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and today, we continue to read these stories as a reminder for you and I to be from those that follow in the footsteps of Musa, those that have the Iman of Musa, those that have the patience of Musa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rectify our affairs.